What's up, guys? How's it going, guys? So, what, are you guys new Hollywood new hot couple? Uh, what are you talking about? What? Me and Sarah? Yeah, you and Sarah. Honey, I'm. I'm hey, look at me. I like. <laughs> oh wow. I love her. She's my friend though. She's my really good friend. We've been having fun together. We just got off the airplane. She was in Palm Springs visiting me and I have a big gallery show tonight at World of Wonder. So I'm like, I have to go get my dress. I didn't know you guys were here, but I'm like jealous. <laughs> yeah. Do you like it? You like this? Oh yeah. That's pretty Don't fun. zoom in on it, okay? <laughs> that's going to teach people how not to dress. Right, yes. Yeah. All right, baby. So I got to ask, uh, so you do, uh, do you identify yourself as a, as a woman? That's what I heard. Like, 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 uh, do you identify yourself as a, you know, like Caitlyn Jenner? You know, she's identifying herself as a woman. Um, yeah. I mean, I think both me and Caitlyn are transgender. We're not, you know what I mean? Like, I live like socially, I guess, like a woman, but I'm not obviously, you know, I don't consider myself biologically female because I am not, you know what I mean? But I mean, I um, think that there's like an assumption that if somebody does like Caitlyn and does like, you know, facial plastic surgery or whatever, or does like facial feminization surgery and all these surgeries that that's somehow more of a woman, I think we're both the same. We're both transgender. You mean like neither one of us is women, we're just trans. Are you a fan of Caitlyn Jenner? Yeah, I love her. I mean, I love her because like when she, I don't agree with everything she, she says. She said some no, no joke, like for real. I mean, she said shit like, she was like say, doing an interview and she was like talking about her surgeries and she was like, you know, it's really important for, for having these surgeries so you can be more woman because you have the boobs and you have the face. And like, what the and does that mean that like a woman who had like a mastectomy from, see, I'm not supposed to be saying that. That's what I think I'm like, I will get in trouble, but whatever. I mean, you know, really, what does that mean? Like, it means a woman that had breast cancer is no longer a woman, you know? So, I think we're just trans. That's my, my point. But I mean, like, I, I like her because, like, as a trans person, I've always faced discrimination and harassment. And after um, she got on the cover of Mandy Fair, I remember really well, like, I had a gig, and I was, I was like, going, you know, shoot my gay guys and all my makeup and everything. And like, you know, usually when I do this, people will heckle me, laugh at me, point at me, throw things at me. After that Vanity Fair cover, it changed. So there's something to be said for having a, a platform and a voice like that. You know what I'm saying? Like there's something to be said for that. But, you know, I don't agree with everything that she says, but I respect her a lot for that. Because she, oh, she changed the world. I mean, I think that that's really important. You know? Right on, man. Yeah, that's cool. So, what about we heard some something about Katy Perry? You know, Katy Perry. Oh yeah, she had an art show. I love her. She was so sweet. She was with Orlando Bloom, and she had just dyed her hair blonde, and she was so cool because I had a portrait of Donald Trump, like, and I did Donald Trump like um, in diapers, like playing with America, you know, like a baby. Not because I think that I'm Donald. If they should, you know, like I like Do personally. No, seriously, I like Donald Trump. I don't have anything against him. He hasn't even started office, so I'm not gonna like judge him but I feel like that's how the public perceives him and a lot of my art is more about like public perception than like my opinion you know what right. I mean but Katy Perry was so cool she stood next to it we took pictures with that and she's awesome and I'm so um you know I just think that she's a really amazing person because she's always stood up for LGBT long before, you know from the very beginning of her career she um takes a stand kind of for the underdog she made an amazing video on xenophobia that I really respect and admire because I, I have like an Arab background you know what I mean so like I really respect that video that she made because there's a lot of profiling and stereotyping that I you know I've gone through in my life you know but yeah, yeah so we're you... on our way to the art show now though we gotta go we gotta, I gotta Get my dress and shit. I can't go there looking like this. You know what I mean? <laughs> right. Don't miss out, man. They'll send me home. Yeah. All right. Thank I you, guys. Think. All right, guys. Can we get a quick picture? Quick picture. Right. Take a little walk, yeah. Take a little walk and give us over the shoulder. There you go. Yeah. Walk, walk, walk towards it. this way. This way. Oh, yeah, yeah. Walk this way. Let's let's do a little walk. Alright, you guys, you guys want to do another setup? Like, like this? Yeah, I don't know. This <laughs> 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 Alright, 
Alright, Luella, you think you think Donald since Donald allowed uh Kaylin to use his bathrooms at his yeah. hotel, you think he's gonna do great things for you guys as trans That's the way it should be. I mean what bathroom is she gonna use? She don't need to be going in the men's bathroom. That's Right. Hell yeah, she needs to use that bathroom. And I believe that Donald Trump is gonna do good things. Like he wants to do well. I think that like the media has I kind of agree that they've been a little bit unfair to him. You know what I mean? That's what my artwork was about. It wasn't really about my opinion. Like I feel like people like you know think maybe that's how I think of him, but my artwork, like I said, is not about my personal opinion, it's more about like what the public, you know, portrays. But I think that I didn't vote for him, I admit it, I voted for Hillary Clinton, but I'm willing to give him a chance. I don't believe in protesting, because that disrupts our society. Like, when people are blocking the freeway, that's the you know what I mean? You don't want to, like, people's lives because your candidate didn't win. And people that were crying about it, honey, I had a lot of bad things happening in my life. If you cry over because your, you know, favorite president didn't win, you need to go through some hard You know what I'm saying? Well, hopefully this country won't be going through too much hard I hope not, right? Yeah, we're just two days, two days away, you know, for yeah, inauguration and everything. Yeah. Sarah, yeah. you need to run two, for president. Two more, two more days. Sarah Barrett's gonna run for president next. Okay. That's what's gonna happen. Vice president. Vice president. Vice president. Vice president. <laughs> Definitely vote for you guys. Campaign manager. Oh, I love that. <laughs> I will. I'll manage the campaign. Man. I will. Yes, yeah, baby. Mm -hmm. Alright, you guys. Yeah. Thanks, you guys. You. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Great talking Great to you guys. Thank you. Yeah. It was awesome. Thank you. Ciao. Bye. Alright, thank you, guys.